All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Apollo Recreation Kit, which is being made by form user Benji10. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, well, probably not what you were expecting with a name like Apollo Recreation Kit, which one would assume would give you rocket parts or lander parts, but no, 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 this gives you everything you need to fake the moon landing, including film equipment and stage parts. And that is just wonderfully hilarious. You too can make your own crackpot wackadoodle conspiracy theories now here in Kerbal Space Program. I love it. It's just so strange. So let's jump into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what we do get here. Now, while getting stuff prepped, I should mention there is a prerequisite mod, and that is actually the Kerbal Inventory System, as all of the parts in question in this pack can be put into the Kerbal's inventories so that they can actually take them with them on missions and deploy them on site wherever they go, which is actually really cool. It gives you some really fun, neat things you can do with these parts. Now, once you have all that installed, of course, you get a lovely new category down here called Film Set Equipment. And in here, you'll find the eight parts that this mod does give you to create your own film stages. And that's wonderful. Starting with the director's chair, which is a chair for your Kerbals to sit in with a crew capacity of one. Now, sadly, kind of a missed opportunity here. It's not a command chair. It is purely just a chair chair. Now, the next part we do have is the Kerboflex 435 35mm film camera, which is a camera. Again, kind of a missed opportunity here. This would have been cool to be like a experiment where you shot some film, but no, it is just purely a camera you can place in the world. Now, the next shot I actually had to go outside for because it's a KIS hand tool, and that is the Kerbovision clapper board because every good stage needs a clapper board because, you know, action. Now, the next two parts are the Kerbovision Expandable Backdrop, which comes in either a large 7.5 by 6 meter size or a smaller 3.75 by 3 meter size for you to have the backdrop of your mission you're faking. Next, we have the Kerbovision Geared Tripod, so you have a tripod to put your camera onto. Then we have the Kerbovision M12 HMI light rig, which is an actual functioning light, which is pretty cool because you can set it up to light up your shot however you need. And finally, we have the stackable stage block, which is 1.25 meters in size, a square, for you to create stages with, and is actually an unmanned command pod. Oh, and I should go back. I mean, you guys have probably have already seen it on the graphic, but the uh, Kerbovision expandable backdrop is also a unmanned command pod, as you can see right here. Uh, but yes, yeah, so let's actually grab a couple of these stage blocks. And as you can see, it is a small part. Like I didn't mention, it is 1.25 meters in size and has attachment points on every side of it. So you can build your stage however large or small you need for your particular shot. And what makes it even better, it comes in three texture varieties of either this standard wood. We then also have a moon surface and finally a black surface for you to to choose from so you can get just the right floor for the shot you're trying to go for and that's I just like it. It's, it's neat that you have those things. Now, similarly, if I do grab the backdrop here and deploy it, it too has some texture options where we either have, as you can see here, the standard default moon surface, but we also have a green screen so you can fake any shot behind your scene that you desire. And I actually really like the texture on this. You can't really see it if it's even there on the moon backdrop. This just looks like a flat square sort of image but on the green screen there's actually like the ruffles in the fabric which I really like it's a little detail that might be hard to see on YouTube with compression but is there and makes it look a little bit more realistic and 
good, fun times. But also has a pretty good retract and deploy animation with these sides popping out and then extending upward. A very fun indeed. Now, uh, as for other texture options, if we actually bring out a couple of director's chairs, this too has some options for you to play with. The default is just a, a black chair, neither really for a director or anyone else, just a chair. But you can also switch it to have director in lettering on the back, or uh, talent. There we go. I almost got myself confused there for a moment. But yes, we have the just plain chair for anyone to use, a director chair for only the director, and one for your talented actors. That's that's just neat. And again, these are all Kerbal inventory items which you can put in your inventory and plop down wherever you need, which is pretty cool. Let's also grab ourselves the tripod and the camera, which you can see does have a nice attachment point there for you to securely pop it on. And the light fixture is pretty good looking. I really do like the whole modeling and texturing situation there and is a functioning light. Now, sadly, you can't change the color on it. You're just going to have the one. That would have been cool to be able to change the color there to set up, like, different moods for the shots you're trying to go for. But still, hey, it's nice to have some extra light so that, you know, the film's not underexposed. Wonderful. Now, I... I really love these parts. It's such a weird mod that has no real practical purpose. Like I actually said earlier going through these parts, I actually really would have loved to see like the camera have like a science experiment of you taking film or the chair being a uh, command seat rather than just a chair chair. But even on their own as just pure props, they offer a lot of fun things you can do with it just to play around and mess around in Kerbal Space Program. And if you're someone who likes making machinima-style things in the game, these are some amazing props for you to use. And even if you're just, you know, a normal game player and not making machinima, who wouldn't love taking the stuff to Duna or some other planet to shoot a weird little film just because you can? It's hilarious. Now let's actually head out to the launch pad where I do have a small stage set up so you can see what you can sort of do with the whole situation and also talk about a few additional features that we do have, which is lovely. But uh, yes, we have Jebediah, of course, in the chair over here. I forgot to label it as the director, but clearly... Jebediah is uh, the best director, so he goes there. And we got Bill over here on the camera. He also does have the clapperboard in hand, as you can see right there. And uh, yeah, it's just a lovely little scene. Now, one thing to make note of, while you're controlling your Kerbals, the only interaction you can actually do with all of these parts is the usual uh, Kerbal inventory system stuff. So you can do things like turn on the lights, you can actually uh, release the camera from the tripod, so you can then pick it up and pop it back in your inventory. But you can actually still change things like the backdrops, the chairs, and even the stage if you go back into the ship itself. Because the ship, remember, is an unmanned command pod, and you can then actually control things like changing up the uh, backdrop of the uh, backdrop. There we go, switch that to the green screen. You can select the surface texture for the scene there, and can even go and change uh, the chair so that now it properly has a director. But yeah, when you're out there in or on one of the Kerbals controlling them, uh, you cannot have that same control. I'm trying to click the chair here and you just don't get it. But again, remember, both the uh, stage and also the backdrop are unmanned command pods, so you really should have no trouble switching back to them to change those parts of your scene. And the rest can be picked up and moved around by your Kerbals, because again, they're Kerbal inventory system items, and that is just a wonderful, wonderful thing. So yeah, that's really all there is to talk about with this mod. Not a whole lot to go over, but just 
some really fun things and I, I really have had a lot of fun messing around with this and there's just so much weird potential with this whole setup so if you'd like to have a look at it for yourself which I'd certainly recommend you go and do you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual but that my friends is gonna be it for this episode hopefully you all have enjoyed and yet do come back for the next win hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod but until that time thank you for watching and as always, have a good one.